Well, good morning. It is Saturday morning. It is a beautiful day here, and uh, I've gone for a two-mile run. My son is out playing while I'm sitting on the porch smoking a corncob pipe because I'm apparently a 90-year-old man in a 43-year-old body. So, um, birds. Uh, I need to restart this, uh, the vlog. And one of the things I've figured out is that, you know, you start, because I've been doing a lot more, um, um, produced videos, especially with live streaming. And, uh, in case you didn't know this, and a lot of people know it at this point, because live streaming is such, for comic artists, I think, become such a, a big thing. But live streaming actually hurts your channel growth. Uh, I don't, I don't understand why, but, uh, YouTube favors, uh, uploading directly videos. I don't understand why YouTube wouldn't say, hey, we need, um, uh, we're going to get content out to you, uh, but don't do this content, don't do it this way, don't do it this way, I don't understand why they just wouldn't, anyway, so um, I need to restart the vlog, just do a few thoughts, um, just kind of chronicling, chronicling um, what, uh, what I'm doing, especially as I'm going into the Indiegogo season, because I'm, I'm shooting for two, in two weeks, probably May 20th, on the same day that um, I uh, that uh, Elliot launches Doom Kicker, um, I'm gonna shoot for that. By the way, I'm wearing my uh, Magic Time Suckers shirt, which you can get at my Big Cartel store. The link may be in the description. I'll put it down there uh, if you like such things. You can get it in different colors other than white now. Um, so I'm getting a cover together and some interior pages, character stuff. I'll post development stuff up there, getting the pitch, and then I gotta do the video. Um, minimum, that's what you need to put a, a Indiegogo together. I was really focused on um, getting the, the video, and I think a lot of people get fixated. Bucks, bucks, nature. Um, get fixated on it, but uh, talking to um, some successful Kickstarter people who can see how often their video is even viewed compared to um, sales. The video is, is like, it needs to be, I think, succinct, but it doesn't need to be fancy. Just tell the people what they want to show, some, what they're getting, what you're pitching, uh, the story, get in, get out. Um, not as many, not, it's, it's, it's apparently not as, um, not as pivotal, pivotal, can't talk this morning, um, to the success of the campaign. So I, I think the, what it really sells a campaign, I, and I think people, because I know I do, like if you're looking at an Indiegogo, um, you're, you even subconsciously decide pretty quickly within a few seconds based on how the art just hits you, how the whole presentation looks, whether or not you're going to buy it or not, you're going to back it. So just making that page look really good is kind of what I'm focusing on. Um, I kind of got sidetracked a little bit because I was so focused on the story and the plot and things that um, that, that'll that come. Like, I know what the story is, and uh, there's some things can still change and, and whatnot, but the story for me is not the problem. Um, I need to focus on doing the character designs. So um, take one thing at a time. I am shipping out all my Kickstarter stuff this week. I'm so excited. It took me way longer than I had planned, but uh, I think I'm going to use, uh, I, I'm hoping to use a fulfillment service for um, this book, this next book, that will make things go a lot faster, so uh, it's uh, crazy times, it's a lot of work, but uh, I think the in the long run for a creator, you know, the, the days of, oh, I want to do this book, maybe I can find a company to publish it and pay me a page rate, which I heard um, someone talking that awesome con an artist uh, uh, a, a fairly well known artist saying you know they were working 20 hour days on three projects and they're still broke and um, the solution was let's do something they're talking to somebody else let's do a book that we want to do we could probably find somebody to pay us a page rate and I'm like that that's like still dipping into the system that made you broke to begin with so uh, definitely I think building the, the future is definitely building an audience connecting with an audience and that's a lot of thing that, that's something I don't see 
uh, a lot of create. I mean, there are a lot of people that are doing that, but when you step into like, you know, especially going to convention circuit and the people that have worked in comics for a, for a long time, I know people that are, you know, they're, they're working on books. They don't have, they're not really on social media. They're not building up a rapport with an audience. Um, and I have friends that are doing that, not doing it. And, and some of them are like, yeah, I need to, but, but, but it's absolutely essential uh, because it's not just putting a book in the age of social media, especially uh, where we're so connected. If you're not connecting with your audience, it's a lot harder. It's, it's gone are the days when you just put, typically put something out there, let it float in the ether, and um, it magically sells. So anyway, just a few thoughts. Informal going to do a few of these informal short uploads that's it for today i'm going to get off of this thing so my neighbors uh, won't think i'm entirely insane uh, uh even though i'm smoking a corn cob pipe on the porch so see you next time like and subscribe and all that stuff too yeah do that